integration and the first one says so the first one says find the integral of um, e to the power 2x minus 3dx so the first thing that we need to know that is a property or when, whenever you're integrating what e to the power anything we know that as you are integrating e let's say add e to the power ax all right dx the answer is just 1 over a then uh, ax plus c so nothing changes on top of there when it, when it comes to e so what we do here is that you are going to do the same here we're going to have the derivative more like the derivative of this one here on top here it just says two right okay so i'm going to say two that will be one over two okay then e the other part doesn't change it remains the same done then that is for part one then part two we have we are finding the inter the integral that's a definite integral by the way 5, 1, which is 1 to 5 of 6e to the power 3x dx. How do we find this? We first have to integrate 6e to the power 3x, right? And let's first integrate 6e to the power 3x dx. And how would we get? We are going to get the 3 here. It's more like our a, which would be 1 over 3 multiplied by 6e to the power 3x. Well, that, not, nothing changes there, plus c. Well, if you are finding the a different integral, like 1 to 5, you don't have to necessarily include the c because we eliminate it at the end of the day. This can be simply fast too because 3 can go into 6, which would be 2e to the power 3x. Then we are finding, you have the, uh, the lower limit 1, the upper limit is 5. So, then... This one proceeds to, so that means we, we are going to have 2e, where there's x, we put uh, 5 there, minus 2e, where there is x, we put 1. The difference between the two. And what we get? We get 2e to the power 15, and here we get 2e to the power 3. We can clearly see here that 2e is common, right? Rather, 2 is common, so I can take out the 2. I, if you don't mind, you can leave it the way it is. That is 15 minus e to the power 3. And you are done.